Hey guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to a few basic features of Camtasia Studio. Uh, over the past several months, I became a very big fan of Camtasia because it's really easy to use and also comes with a free, full access, 30-day trial, which is pretty rare in a lot of programs these days. After the 30 days, it's $300 for Windows users and $100 for Mac users. Now, before you go ahead and dish out that do re me, why don't you go ahead and check over at the library or at your school and kind of find out if they already have it on their computers for you to use. For the remainder of this video, I'm going to go ahead and take my face out, and here's my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and narrate what's going on. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to our favorite website, Google. Psych! Here I am again. Anyway, here's my face. I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of how you can edit in and out these programs, kind of do something like this. Anyway, re-psych, my face is gone. Anyway, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to our friendly website, Google, type in Camtasia. And then right here, Camtasia by TechSmith is the link that you're going to want to go to. And then right up here, you have the option, either buy now or free trial. Obviously, you're going to want to go ahead and hit free trial. After that, you're going to go ahead and download it. Now, once you have Camtasia downloaded, it's going to show up as an icon on your desktop. Go ahead and get, give that bad pup a double click. And mine's already open because, you know, how do you think I'm recording this video? So you're going to open up to a brand new screen, a brand new studio program like this. And the first thing you're going to see is it's a lot to take in at once. But if you look uh, down here on the bottom, this is where you're going to add in clips. And right here on the side is where you're going to actually preview what your video is going to look like. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and probably import video clips that you already have. So in my case, I have uh, tons of different videos. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one right here, Introduction to Biology. This is a video that I made a while ago. Uh, another thing you could do, actually, is you can make your own videos. You have the choice of either recording the screen, so anything that comes up on the screen, such as I'm doing now, is going to get recorded. Or you can record from a pre-made PowerPoint. I'm going to go ahead and show you what editing in Camtasia Studio is like once you have something already pre-recorded. Anyway, I added in my little video here, and let's go ahead and add in a few pictures. So, on my computer, I have a, a whole bunch of pictures. Let's go ahead and, uh, since I'm a bio teacher, let's go ahead and choose some of these. Um, here we go, maybe uh, nuclear bomb explosion, Bill Nye, we'll get this weird animal, uh, this bear, and Arnold Schwarzenegger, why not? Go ahead and import all of those, and now here they are in your clip bin, it's called, in Camtasia Studio. Now, adding things into your video is super easy. All I'm going to do is, is take my video right here that I have imported, drag it into my bottom part right here, um, and then Camtasia is going to ask you, what size do you want your video to be? Well, you're probably going to want to go ahead and choose uh, YouTube and Screencast. Uh, 1280 by 720. That's the standard size for videos these days. So choose that. Click OK. And now we have uh, something in our actual media. And so if you were to hit play over here, it's going to give you a little preview of the video. So anyway, you can go ahead and watch that video on your own time. It's on my YouTube channel. But let's say the I don't like the music. I don't or I don't like the background sound. All you got to do is give this little bad pup the old right click. I'll do that again. And if I want to separate the video and audio, now take a look. I have the video and the audio separated. If I want to get rid of the audio entirely, give it the old right click, delete. Now my video actually has no sound at all. Let's say you want to add in your own sound. Well, you have a couple of choices. If you want to add in your own voice, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Tools up here and Voice Narration. You click that, and um, I'm actually recording, so it's not going to allow me to record my own voice twice. But this would normally be a button that you could click, and you're going to click that, and it's going to allow you to uh, voice narrate through the 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 clip here. Another thing you can do is add in previously recorded audio. If you want to add in music, it's super easy. Just go back to Import Media, 
go to your music bin and click on uh, the music that you have. Maybe you have some Cat Stevens and you want to insert uh, Wild World, something like that. Now I put that, drag that down here and check it out. As my video plays, it's going to play that song as well. Anyway, I don't, I don't really want to do that. Let's say I want to add in some sound effects. Well, to do that, you're going to actually have to get some sound effects um, somewhere from your computer. So in my case, I, I have a whole bu a bunch of sound effects that came with PowerPoint. And uh, let's say I want to use some of those. Let's say I want to use a laser sound. Just import that into your clip in here and drag, click and drag that down here. And now, every time my video plays, I have those sound effects added in. Anyway, I don't like that. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Control Z is to undo. Let's say that I want to add in a few pictures into my video. Well, let's go ahead and click and drag this atomic bomb picture. We'll put that down here. And this uh, bear picture, we'll put that in there too. But I don't really like how short they are, how short these little pictures show up. So let's go ahead and uh, all you got to do is click and drag, make them a little longer. So now they're kind of uh, showing up back to back. And now when I play my video, those pictures are going to show up on the screen. But that looks weird and I don't like how small that is. So what, what I'm going to do is go back over here to my preview window and I can resize these pictures to be uh, as big as I want. So if you take a look here, my video is playing. Now this picture shows up and it stays on screen for as long as this little ticker goes down. Another thing you can do is get rid of sections of video. Let's say that this section right here with the frog being eaten, I kind of want to get rid of that, right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to where the frog is being eaten begins. And to do that, these little buttons right here allow you to move at just like one second at a time. So I'm going to make sure that I time it correctly. Right where the frog starts being eaten, I'm going to start there. Then I'm going to take this little cursor right here that's in red. You see that little tab right there? And I'm going to drag that out until I reach the point where the frog is done being eaten. So right about there. Then I'm going to hit the cut button right here. And now, if you take a look, if you replay your video, that whole section about the frog being eaten is gone. And that's really useful for somebody like me that says a lot of ums in the way that he speaks. Another thing you can do in Camtasia Studio is add in these little callouts. These are pretty cool. Anyway, to add in callouts, all you're going to do is go over here to the callout tab, click on that, and you have all sorts of callouts to choose from. To choose different ones other than these G shapes right here, click this little button right here, and you have all these different choices. Let's say I want to add in text. I'm going to hit the T for text, and now this little thing right here is that text. This right here is your type, your type box. Uh, let's say I want to type in giggity. Well, it's surprisingly you can it showed up there, but you can barely see it, right? Probably because it's not very good font and it's also written in black. So to change the text, all you got to do is highlight everything. And let's say that we want to choose a different type of font. We'll choose Batang. Never heard of that font before, but sounds pretty. Uh, pretty cool. We'll make our font bigger up to 72. Actually we can even if we highlight our box right here we can even make it bigger 150 or so but you'll notice that you don't see anything. Well that's probably because your window right here for your text box is actually too small for your text but if you open it up a little bit here now you can kind of see the words giggity but that still doesn't look too good. So let's go ahead and go back over here and we'll change our color maybe to red uh, or maybe yellow. Um, yeah, I guess yellow shows up pretty well. And another thing you can do is, is bold it. You can italicize it. You can underline it. Kind of whatever you want to do. And down here, you see how it says fade in, fade out? What that means is that it's going to take a second for that text to fade in and a second for that text to fade out. I'll show you what that looks like.
You see how the words giggity kind of faded in and faded out? That's another thing you can do. And you can add, actually add in all sorts of different kinds of callouts. Let's say that I want to add in um, this big fat arrow right here. All you're going to do is choose that arrow right there, hit add callout. Make sure that this little selector here is on top of your callout. And now you can use these buttons here to change the orientation of the arrow. You can use these buttons here to make these arrows bigger. And now in your video, those arrows are going to show up right on top of your video. All right, even though this video is not very good, you know, it's it's got a lot of weird stuff going on. Once you're finished, you're going to go ahead and click Produce and Share up here. And once you click that button, it allows you to do many different things. What you're going to want to do is not share it to Screencast. You're probably going to want to download it as an MP4 with video player up to 720p. Click that, click Next, and then title your video, and then you choose your destination. In this case, let's say that I want to save it to my desktop. I'm not going to hit Finish because if I hit Finish, then my podcast here is kind of completed. So I'm going to hit cancel, but I'm going to show you guys what it's like once you have something produced. You're going to get a file that looks like this, and it's going to be saved to the destination wherever you have. In case, in my case, I saved it to my desktop. You're going to have a big folder that looks like this with lots of stuff. This happens to be on a project that I made recently on genetic engineering. Your actual video file here is this one here that would be a .mp4. This one here is my video file. This is a video I made on kind of wish that you could have a clone of yourself, do all your homework for not that long ago. And then you're ultimately going to want to save your project. So you go up here, click Save Project As, save it to the destination. Anyway, guys, that's going to go ahead and explain the basic features of Camtasia. I hope you guys go ahead and explore more of what Camtasia has to offer, but those are just the basic features that will kind of get you started on a basic video. Anyway, thanks for listening. I'm signing off, folks. Y'all have a nice day.